Sub-Zero Group is a manufacturer of luxury appliances, Sub-Zero being the refrigeration appliance, Wolf being our cooking appliance, and Cove being our new dishwasher line. The Corporate Development Lab basically is a mini factory. We're a factory within a factory. We have seven 3D printers. I really in enjoy 3D printing. It's my one love in our lab. I can still turn the light on in that compartment and watch those things run and think, man, it's amazing what these things do. And uh, they are really, really important to us. If you open up a refrigerator, for instance, we make those parts within our lab. Basically, we try to duplicate as many of the technologies and applications that we have in our production floors right within our lab. I was excited about the F770 because of the build size. What we're starting to see is a lot of parts that are just starting to fall outside the build envelope of my Fortis 400s. And so because of that, my Fortis 900 gets overloaded. And also because of that, we end up sending some more of our bigger parts now out to service bureaus. So when I heard about the build size of the F770 and also the price point that was being talked about, I thought, wow, this could be a really nice addition to our lab. The size, the 39 by 24 by 24, is a size that fits us very well. Big's always good. You can make small parts in a big machine, but you cannot make big parts in a small machine. The biggest thing with having the 770 in the lab is that we're going to be able to keep bigger parts in-house. So it's going to eliminate a little bit more outsourcing. Probably 30-40% in savings for us to keep it in-house, which is huge. Uh, when you've got product builds coming basically every six weeks, you know, six weeks is, seems like a long time, but it's not when you've got a large number of component parts that you have to generate and you gotta make sure that you have everything on site and ready to go when that start date is. So we can't miss a beat. Knowing the uh, reliability that Stratasys has shown to us over the 20 years we've been printing with them, I have nothing but confidence that this F770 is gonna perform equally as well. We have not seen um, any major downtime in any of the printers that we've had. They've been supported extremely well, they're made extremely well. I just look at that Fortis 900 that we have and that thing's just solid, rock solid machine. And we run them hard. Those machines never shut off. We're in there Saturdays and Sundays changing them over because we need the machine time, we need the throughput. And so I don't know, I really don't know where we'd be without them. I did get an actual uh, couple of requests this morning for some bigger parts and I thought, okay, perfect. Those are going on that machine this afternoon.